Henshaws, life hacks, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations. Welcome back to Henshaws Life Hacks, our tips, tricks and tech. Today, as promised, we're with Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Hiya. And she's going to talk about applying makeup and some top tips that she's got. So, tell me about them. Well, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, in which you can see the link to, it talks about preparing for makeup, really. So, being organised and being prepared. So, like I said, click on that link and you can have a look at that video. But today, I'm going to give just a couple of top tips, really, of my top tips on how to apply makeup. Everyone's going to be different. It might not work for some, but it should work for many. And it works for me. So um, the first one is brushes. You can get long brushes, short brushes. Um, i found by using long brushes, sometimes it's a bit of a nightmare because you can poke your eye out or completely miss your face. Um, and it ends up getting a bit frustrating. So i found, if I can't find a small brush, I've shortened them. Either by taking the handle off or just napping them, really, which isn't as viable, but it works. Um, and also with it being shorter as well, it's closer to your face. You've got more control of where you're putting your makeup on your face as well. Um, and like I said in the previous video about preparing, if you've got the right colours and the right makeup, you'll be okay what you're applying on there. Um, second tip, I've noticed since my sight started deteriorating, I'm struggling using the eyeshadow brush. Um, smaller thing for me to concentrate. So I've found now... Um, because I buy familiar products, is applying with your finger. So using natural colours and just putting it onto your middle finger and just applying it onto the lid. So at least you've got some sort of colour on there to go with. Um, and if you want to get into finer details, again, you can use a brush. It's whatever's best for you, really, and how it works. And then big one, and a tricky one, even people with sight struggle with, is the mascara. Um... I always recommend to people who have lost the sight, have lost the confidence in applying makeup, it's just get a clear mascara, practice it. But one of my tips is, um, using the useful bit of vision that I've got, is when I put the mascara near my eye, I tend to just sort of um, blink onto it and move my head, so I've got control over it. Um, and there are lots of other tips and ways um, of doing it, even with short mascara brushes. Again, it's just about being careful, it's practicing and it's making you feel good as well. And that's just a couple of um, short tips on makeup. Thanks, Zoe. They were brilliant tips. And listen, if you've got any other tips that will help us in our videos, please send them in and we'll uh, definitely do a video on them. So thank you very much You're for that. You're welcome. And I hope to uh, see you soon. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Bye.